to this Tory government. We are not prepared to do your dirty work. We are not prepared to cut a single job. We are not prepared to cut a single service. It's the responsibility of all the councils to stand firm against these Tory cuts like we did in 1993-87. In Liverpool, a short, short start, the decision was taken to close down and to withdraw funding from short staff services. And this was done in the same week as the bankers announced the colossal bonuses that they were paying themselves. We had Billy Hitchie of Barclays Bank paid himself a package worth £23 million on the same day as services were withdrawn from the poor and the needy and the disabled. This is an obscenity which is taking place in one of the most wealthy, advanced industrial countries on the planet. And what we demonstrated in Liverpool, we are not prepared to carry out those cuts. And we have continually called upon the leadership of the Liverpool City Council to stay known, to stand firm, to refuse to carry out a single cut or or withdraw funding from a single service. They say there's no alternative. There's always an alternative to cuts. There's always an alternative to capitulation. And that alternative is to stand firm and to give leadership. And we've got to send a clear message to a milliband who apparently is on this, addressing this demonstration today. That for him to say that cuts are inevitable is entirely unacceptable by the Labour and Trade Union movement. For a Billy Band to say that if he was elected, he would have had to carry out cuts is totally unacceptable. What is clearly required is a new party of the working class which the MSSN can lead the way to achieve. Because what we've had in Parliament for the last 12 years is three wings of the same party, all supporting the fundamentals, the measures that were taken by Tony Blair, Peter Manderson and Gordon Brown to enrich the already wealthy, to get the bankers their head, to cut regulation, and at the same time, we are now, the working class is now expected to pay for the crimes of the bankers. Not a single banker has been charged. Not a single banker has ended up in jail. Not a single banker has been charged even on by the, uh, uh, the FSA with close misconduct. They are back on the gravy train. And this at a time of the obscenity of thousands of workers getting notice of services being cut. They should hang their heads in shame that these people who go straight from Oxford University, from Eton, into the Westminster village, a cabinet of 22 millionaires that is demanding that these cuts should be taken and is demanding that local authorities implement those cuts is totally unacceptable to this movement. This will be one of the greatest demonstrations in the history of the British Labour movement. The question we have to ask now is what follows this demonstration? Do we all go home and forget it? No, we don't. We stay and we fight. And we demand that the TUC prepare for a massive program of industrial action, including a public sector one-day general strike. That is the only language that this government will understand. And we want to send a clear message to Ed Miliband that if Labour are elected at the next general election, then we expect Ed Miliband to repeal the most vicious anti-trade union laws in the Western world. We expect him to restore all of the cuts that have been made. We will demand that rather than enrich the bankers, we nationalise the banks and place them under the democratic control of the British working class and of the community itself.